O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Let all on earth their voices raise, re-echoing heaven's triumphant praise, to him who gave the apostles grace, who run on earth their glorious race, thou at whose word they bore the light, of gospel truth a heathen night, to us that heavenly light impart, to glad our eyes and cheer our heart. Thou art whose will to them was given, to bind and loose in earth and heaven, our chains unbind, our sins undo, and in our hearts thy grace renew. Thou in whose might they spoke the word, which cured disease and health restored, to us its healing power prolong, support the weak and firm the strong. I become a minister of the gospel, according to the bountiful gift of God. Alleluia. I trusted even when I said, I am sorely afflicted. And when I said in my alarm, no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord? For his goodness to me, the cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before these people. O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosed my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fill. Before least people. In the courts of the house of the Lord. In your midst, O Jerusalem, praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come at the end of the ages. I become a minister of the gospel, according to the bountiful gift of God. Alleluia. I do all things for the sake of the gospel, to have a share in its blessings. Alleluia. The Lord delivered Zion from bondage. It seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, on our lips there were songs. The heathens themselves had what marvels the Lord worked for them. What marvels the Lord worked for us. Indeed we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage as streams and dry land. Those who were sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song. 
carrying their sheaves. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come, at the end of the ages. I do all things for the sake of the gospel, to have a share in its blessings. Alleluia. To me this grace was given, to preach to the peoples the unsearchable riches of Christ. Alleluia. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ, with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. He chose us in him, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. He destined us in love to be his sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us. He has made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of his will, according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ. His purpose he set forth in Christ, as a plan for the fullness of time, to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. To me this grace was given, to preach to the peoples, the unsearchable riches of Christ. Alleluia. We always give thanks to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you. For we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of your love for all God's people. When the true message, the good news, first came to you, you heard of the hope it offers. So your faith and love are based on what you hope for, which is kept safe for you in heaven. The gospel is bringing blessings and spreading through the whole world, just as it has among you, ever since the day you first heard of the grace of God and came to know it as it really is. Tell of the glory of the Lord, and answer among the nations, Alleluia, Alleluia. Tell of the glory of the Lord, and answer among the nations, Alleluia, Alleluia. Speak of his wonderful deeds to all the peoples. Tell of the glory of the Lord, and answer among the nations, Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Tell of the glory of the Lord, and answer among the nations, Alleluia. Alleluia. The word of the Lord remains forever, and that is the gospel which has been preached to you. Hallelujah. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in a lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is name, his mercy is from age to age. On those who fear him, he puts for his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. 
He protects Israeli servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever, world without end. The word of the Lord remains forever, and that is the gospel which has been preached to you. Alleluia. O God, the Father of light, you called us to the true faith through the gospel of your Son. We pray to him now for all his holy people, saying, Remember your church, O Lord. Father, you raised your Son from the dead to be the shepherd of, hu of a huge flock. Make us his witnesses to the ends of the earth. Remember your church, O Lord. You sent your Son into the world to proclaim the gospel correction, to proclaim the good news to the poor. Grant that we may bring his gospel into the darkness of men's lives. Remember your church, O Lord. You sent your Son to plant in men's hearts the seed of imperishable life. May we labour to sow his word and reap a harvest of joy. Remember your church, O Lord. You sent your Son to reconcile the world with yourself by the shedding of his blood. Let us become his fellow workers in restoring men to your friendship. Remember your church, O Lord. You placed your Son at your own right hand in heaven. Receive the dead into the happiness of your kingdom. Remember your church, O Lord. At the Saviour's command and for my divine teaching we dare to say our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Almighty God, you chose out of the evangelist Saint Mark and ennobled him with grace to preach the gospel. Let his teaching so improve our lives that we may walk faithfully in the footsteps of Christ. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.